Uh, our first guest today is a very good friend of mine. She was on my radio show on KCBQ this week. Uh, I've known her for a couple years now, and she is a top producer uh, here in San Diego. She's in the metro market. Her name is Melissa Tucci, and uh, she is an all-star. I call her a pro's pro. Melissa, welcome to the show thank, again. Thank you. Nice to be here. We're on the couch now. I know. Do you like the couch yeah. better? It, it's growing on me a little bit. I, I'm not sure about it yet, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. I kind of like being able to stand up and wave my arms around, but they're trying to calm me down a little bit and turn this more into like a a cup, a, a, you know, a tea a or a coffee. Of tea. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to cheer oh, I'm me sorry. When, we, when we started this segment. <laughs> yeah. So sure. there's nothing in her mug. It's all for show. <laughs> all right. So let, let's talk a little bit about the market. All okay. right. So before we get too deep into it, I want to show a video so that our audience can really understand what market that you represent here in San Diego with the Metro Market. Great. So North Park, not a bad place to go to work every day. No, absolutely. Yeah, now you're originally from Chicago, the Midwest, like me. What, what originally brought you to San Diego? As cliche as it sounds, the weather, actually, because uh -huh. I really like to, I'm an outdoors person. I like to run outside and happy. It's always happier when it's sunnier. And so that's, that's what brought me here. Well, as far as real estate goes, you're mm -hmm. top producer uh, with Century 21. I always screw this up. Century 21. All service. All service. Because right. there's Century 21, there's Century 21 Award, there's Century 21 and All Service. I just know you as Melissa Tucci and, and your team that helps you produce massive numbers here in, in San Diego. And I always say that if I were uh, buying a house, I would use Melissa Tucci. And I know that probably offends a lot of people, but the truth is, is I, I have email exchanges with you at midnight and, and I get your text messages and I text you and you're always so responsive and mm -hmm. so all over it. And I think that's what people are really attracted to. In fact, one of our viewers from the UTTV this week found you, found you in the paper here and uh, yeah. actually reached out to discuss listing their home. And I encourage anyone to do that. Melissa is in the, in the North Park area. Now, when we say, or excuse me, the metro area, when you say metro area, what, what areas does that cover? There's North Park, there's Kensington, there's University Heights. Right, so it's, it's all those three, University Heights, Kensington, North Park, Mission Hills, Bankers Hill, College Area, Talmadge. But not only do I work the metro area, I actually work all over the county because um, as far as South Bay, East County, North County, um, wherever I have clients. So. And you do the legwork. See, a lot of times what we have in San Diego real estate is, is there's a lot of top producers out there, mm -hmm. uh, but they have teams underneath them that do all the work and they kind of inflate their numbers a little bit. But you, I mean, a lot of times people will just focus on listings or high listing. I mean, you cover everything, the mm -hmm. whole spectrum, and you don't ever seem tired. You also have three kids. I'm, it, earlier I called you a pro's pro. Right. I, I haven't shared this with you, but on uh, Thursday of this week, I had a coffee at the University Club with a friend of mine who's also in real estate. And we, we were talking about you and some other top producers, and he called you an enigma. Mm -hmm. He said, no one can quite understand how you do it. Right. And I said, you know, that's what really makes her very talented and very special. Um, let's talk a little bit about renting versus owning, right? So mm -hmm. right now, you have interest rates at record lows. Now, we've seen a little bit of an increase, but I think it's causing a lot of people to get back on the fence when it comes to home ownership. Mm -hmm. We had a... a viewer reach out to craigsewing.com paying three thousand dollars a month in rent right and i said oh well prices have gone up interest rates have gone up now should i just go back and rent and i think that's absolutely crazy so i thought that a good thing to do was uh, show some of the numbers that you and your mortgage team mm -hmm. uh, help to really break these things down so people can truly understand not just hearing us talk about it but we actually have a spreadsheet to show to the audience about some of these numbers 
kind of tough to read sure. uh, from well, here, but what's in, the gist of it? And just a, an example, so if you're paying about $3,000 a month in rent, after 10 years, that's $360,000. Um, and I think a lot of people don't realize at $3,000 a month, you could get a mortgage for about 700000 and you'll have equity that will be adding up. You'll be able to decorate your place without having to give your landlord any notice. You get the benefits of tax You throw dedu- parties. Oh yeah, you could throw parties. You get the benefit of tax deductions um, and y- you're paying down your principal versus actually paying someone else's mortgage for them. So I think where a lot of people get this wrong, just, just consumers, potential home buyers, mm-hmm. is that you have, um, you have a mortgage payment. Mm-hmm. And then you have a rent payment. And a lot of times that mortgage payment is going to be a little bit higher. Right. Right? So sometimes people think that, well, gosh, we're already, we're already pretty tight, 500 bucks more a month. That's, that's not something we can do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when you actually break these numbers down, as we've shown the spreadsheet, and if you didn't catch any of those numbers, go to craigsewing.com. We'll create a free rent versus own analysis for you. Uh, what they don't realize is when you, you have that higher mortgage payment, much of this payment is paying towards the principal balance of your loan. Mm-hmm. So there's value in the payment versus paying that landlord's mortgage. You're paying down that loan balance. Now, when the home goes up in value and the loan goes down, you're building equity, equity. in here. Mm-hmm. Also, at the end of the year, the interest and real estate taxes on your mortgage, you get to write them off. Right. So now that payment that was higher is paying down principal and you're getting the tax advantages. And so the comparison here is actually a lot of times less than you're paying in rent. And that, of course, is not including the fact that you get to own it. Th- you said throw parties, or did I say that? You said that. Throw tea yeah. parties? Yeah, you could throw yeah, tea parties. Throw, throw tea parties mm-hmm. there, like we're doing here today. Uh, and you can paint the walls, mm-hmm. throw a swing set in the back, do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, if real estate prices, you know, everybody's so hung up on what's going to happen with real estate prices. Look, let's pretend they only went up 3% a year. Well, $500,000 house, 3% a year is fifteen grand a year, right. plus paying down principal, plus tax advantage. What's $500,000 get you in, in your neck of the woods? And you could get a three-bedroom, two-bath home um, house with a garage. You could get a townhome, two-story, 1,500 square feet in Mission Valley. Um, So you really could get a a great property and pay so much less than you do as rent. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. How's the inventory doing in the metro area? It's actually started to increase a little bit, about 10 to 15%, in fact, this past month, because I think a lot of people have seen that the prices have increased and that now is a good time to put their house on the market because there is still so many buyers. Well, if they're going to do it, they need to work with someone who can get it done. Mm -hmm. Melissa Tucci, you really are the best. Uh, Let's look at your website, melissatucci.com. If you want to learn more, there's people from our radio show that went there this week. People reached out to you through the paper this week. Uh, She's a great friend of mine. She can take care of you on buying, selling. I appreciate you coming in here. As always, you do a terrific job. Thank you. Thanks for having me.